I'm Lynn Dane, and this is my shop. Not only do we sell this product, but we live this life. You never know what we're going to be doing next or where we're going to be, but we're always having fun. I'm Brom Wilson. I produce this show. I try to get you all the great action shots without getting rain on. Together we are right into you. Good day to be inside. It's cold out there. It's a little bit. Bob's gonna hate me for this one. What's Lynn doing? Coffee, just pour it on you. Let's go. No, we're not going. Come on, hats, clothes, shoes, coats. Where, where are we going? There's snow. It doesn't matter. Uh, I need like three coats. So normally we have to drag you out of the shop. <laughs> Today was a little different. You drug me out of the shop. I literally drug you out of the shop, Princess. I did not want to go. It was so cold. It was very cold. <laughs> it may have not been one of my best ideas, but it was fun. Yeah, it was different. I'll give you that. Hey, come on, Princess. Let's go. So there I was, nice and cozy, enjoying my uh, hot cup of coffee. And who shows up? Hey, it was a snow day. Nobody was coming into the store. Like, nobody could go anywhere. It was perfect. It was the coldest day. Lynn was rushing me to get out of the shop today, I forgot my gloves, so I got these fancy jersey gloves, these. My plan is to put the jersey gloves on into the leather gloves. Hopefully that works. You'll like it. Alright, we're here at Soggy Bottom. This is the Beaumont Ranch. It's about 1,100 acres of just really cool scenery, great trails. Uh, Terry is the uncle who owns this place. We're good friends with uh, Danny. Danny runs the park down here. He's been calling us for a few days, wanting us to come out. We've got the snow on the ground, so we're going to be out here. We're going to see what we can tear up and how much fun we can have today. So, looking forward to this. Whose idea was says. this? This is stupid. But it sure is cool. Yeah. As soon as we 
we got the machine unloaded, it was time to do donuts. It's epic. You've got to do snow donuts. So I'm out there blasting away in cold weather dodge with the snowstorms and swirl by. The Mavericks just sitting there spent on the top. It was fun. I knew we were going to be in for a good day. I think it's impossible to find a on Maverick and not do donuts in this round. <laughs> it's physically impossible. You've got to have that willpower. trails it's fun it's nice and safe and I look up ahead yeah I look up ahead of me and Lynn just dives off into this creek and it's a creek and it's 17 degrees come around the corner and off the side of the mountain is the creek so we dive off into it as soon as you start off the mountain even with your brakes locked up you're not stopping you're like a bobsled straight to the bottom into the creek splash when you're in it just gotta stay on the gas. So what you're saying is steep hills and snow don't really mix? No, it works great. It makes a sled. <laughs> okay. think I was going that fast and that waterfall was a lot steeper than what I realized when I hit it it just like soaked my entire face my face was already numb now it's got a shield of ice on it yeah. so I'm the smart one I'm following him I get to see what he does and then I'll correct kind of what we need to he's just do. slower he can't keep up <laughs> starting to set. We gotta get out of this thing. It's a steep mountain. So I being the gentleman that I am, I offered to let Brom have the first try at it. I uh, started up the hill and right off the bat I'm starting to spin and uh, really what I was doing is clearing the way for this guy, oh, getting all the snow off of the trail so that he had an easy route up. But 
what would I do without you? <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I'm struggling a little bit today, but it's not my fault. It's uh, it's Colton's fault. He's he's trying to tell me what to do, and it's flustering me and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let Colton drive though. Yeah, I think he's gonna do a better job than I am. This snow out here is just pulling us all over the trails. We're hitting it. It's taking you to the side the hills that we normally could blast up in two-wheel drive these machines are fighting to get up in four-wheel drive and when we're out here i don't know if you can see behind us right now but we're in a really deep valley we've got mm. probably one of the steepest hills out here to shoot up we came down it all right but going up it might be another challenge so at least in missouri we got trees we can winch from tree to tree to tree but i think we can do it <laughs> might have to do that with me drive <laughs> Keep momentum up. That's what I got to do. Lots of momentum. Let's get on top of the ridge and go do some more snow blasting. Like we're out on the trails. It was so exciting. You could see all over. The blast is so cold. And then the snow is flying. Bikes are just sliding, and there's powder, so it's just like poofy fun. Not only that, we had the park to ourselves. There wasn't any other fool out there. That's no, there sure. wasn't. It was fun. Snow, Mavericks, I mean, how can you go wrong? It was a good day. been playing so hard we were so cold it was kind of nice to stop got down in like the cedars and took a break out of the wind i remember that it was actually warm in there the cedars just blocked the wind real nice yeah intelligent break in reverse the world's first and only on water braking system gives you greater control over your watercraft Simply squeeze a lever, and IBR stops you up to 100 feet sooner. For increased safety and better collision avoidance. An innovation in watercraft control honored by the U.S. Coast Guard. IBR also makes for easier docking and superior low-speed maneuverability. To control other watercraft, you have to use one hand to pull up and down on a mechanical lever. With IBR, you can keep both hands on the handlebars and shift quickly and easily between forward and reverse just by squeezing and releasing a lever. Plus, a Sea-Doo watercraft with IBR automatically starts in neutral, so unlike other watercraft, you don't immediately move forward. Intelligent Brake in Reverse, available on select Sea-Doo watercraft for more control and greater peace of mind. 
This was so different than anything else I've owned. The Kindle's beautiful, it's very stable. The amount of power and torque that it has is just phenomenal. Ride all day, you don't get tired. It's just a whole lot of fun to have something in common and things to talk about. Whether it's exploring the wide open road, taking on the twisties, or just meeting up with friends, riding a Can-Am Spider opens up a whole new world of adventure. You just feel freedom and the fresh air, I love it. With a stable Y-frame design and seven automotive technologies, you'll ride with complete confidence. Now you can even take your motorcycle test on a Can-Am Spider and be riding the next day. Choose from a wide selection of models to fit your riding preference. Go for a test ride at your local dealer and find out which vehicle is right for you. So this next segment is one of my favorite parts of the day. Uh, we're down in the valleys and the tight turns and we hop up on this uh, ridge top. The sun's kind of setting and it's just beautiful up there. And what do we do? Donuts. Yeah. And we did donuts. And it was just, it was awesome. It was cold. It was cold, but it was awesome. This place is just amazing. We're out here, snow covered, freezing cold. Yes, very freezing. But we're having a blast. I and mean, you can see for miles, the snow has been epic. We've really had to work in some stuff that we can normally just blast up. It takes a little getting used to, but once you kind of get the hang of it and figure it out, it's not too bad. But uh, you catch those, those snow drifts and it just wants to jerk you off the trail. Yep. If you hit your brakes, that's exactly where you go. <laughs> well, I learned that really quick. So, you got to stay on the throttle out here, pay attention, but you put it all together and you can drive your machine. This is just absolutely a ball. Yeah. It isn't too cold to be out here. It isn't cold. <laughs> he says it is. I think you might be with Brom. <laughs> no, but it, it is beautiful out here. You can just see for miles. So, Lynn has had all he can handle in the cold. Lynn? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, we're cold. We're okay. Everybody's cold. Okay. We decided to pack it up and head back to the truck. Before we even get back, I come out of the main gate, pull the bales on the side of the truck, walks across the field, goes against the truck. So he starts thinking he's in there trying to fall out. We got to move. He was done. He was done. Where do you want to shoot that thing at? Hold on. I don't know what I'm going to say. Hold on. <laughs> um, well, I'll start it and lead you. I'm ready? Told you it wasn't too cold to go wheeling. Okay. 
It was a little cold. It might have been a little too cold. Colton bailed on us. He's, <laughs> he's in the truck. truck. He's like, I want no more. He's like, screw you guys. I know. His last quote was, you run snow for me, Dad. No, it was fun. And it was better than sitting inside all day. Hey, I'll, I'll give you that. It was a ball. We were out there doing donuts. And snow was flying. At one point, I was completely buried in snow. I'm still driving. I look over at you, and you're smiling. You're like, Ugh. but you're smiling. So. I think my face froze in that position. After the first that. hour, I couldn't feel mine no more. <laughs> I just check and make sure it was all still there. Cold day but, of wheeling is always better than a day at work. Yeah, it was. The snow was an absolute ball. So yeah. We haven't had this much fun. We didn't break anything. I know. Anything. That's crazy. That's that's good, though. That is. We're turning over a new leaf. The snow, you could just slide into stuff, and it was just kapoof. Oh, yeah. So, it was a lot of fun. The hard part now is we got to load these things up. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I'll meet you guys in the trunk. So. <laughs> Come on, it's your Crazy. idea to go wheeling in this. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, right. Right there. There, down through the wall. Take five. Go. So again, I want to reiterate that it's 17 degrees. We're going down a creek. Uh, Lynn just jumps off into this little puddle. Oh, it was bigger than a puddle, but I saw, I saw this water just fly up over the windshield. Well, it wasn't a windshield, though, but... <laughs> you need to start that one <laughs> I didn't go there. Well, I did that. What the <laughs> Did you really see that? <laughs> Is that a Red Bull? I think Red Bull. <laughs> we'll buy it. We'll get another one. My power steering is working. It was working. It was not working. It was working. It was not working. He just doesn't know how to drive. It wasn't working.